Hi guys, I'm here today with another glue book page and this one is going to be part of another open collab. This one's hosted by Double Clicked Double Click Connect and it is called the Double Clicked Connect Challenge and the theme this month is fruit. So I'm just going to make a fruit themed glue book page and what I have here is a bunch of fruit stickers and just various fruit paper and I'm just gonna cut up and make some backgrounds and put some stickers down so I have some caramel apples um, some various stickers like pineapples and these puffy stickers and random pineapples and apples and bananas and whatnot all kinds of fruit stickers this is from an old calendar it has a cat with kiwi strawberry cat another strawberry cat and some blueberries up here so that'll be part of the background and some more um, fruit stickers all kinds of fruit stickers um, a strawberry shortcake card pineapple watermelon and this is a fourth of July page that has some cherries on some ice cream and some strawberries and raspberries by some tea with some blueberries on top. So let's just get started on the background. First I'm going to cut out these cat things. I'm not going to like fussy cut them because I don't like doing that. So I'm just going to cut squares. And this big blueberry. And another cat strawberry. This big cat kiwi. This one I have to cut a little bit off because I do want this kiwi as well. Okay, so there's that. And everything else I'll probably just rip. Oh yeah, I also got some washi tape, some watermelon, um, pineapple, and this back to school with some apples on it. So we have these. And now let's just rip some caramel apples up. And these ones, I'll just cut out the fruit stuff, since it's not all fruit on this page. And I think I got one more. Actually, that, that'll be enough. And then we have the strawberry shortcake card and some big orange and lemon stickers and some pineapples. So I'll cut some of these out. Then I have some other pineapples. I'll only use two of these ones. Okay, and then the watermelon. And that should be good for the background, I think. Just cut some watermelon. There we go. Let 
let's get the card glued down. Um, I might make this a pocket so I can put some of these stickers in it. But first I want to glue stuff around so that way it has stuff on the background. So that'll be good right there. Just under that third line. Perfect. And then over here, we'll put down some of this pineapple, like right there. I think that's a good spot for it right there. Perfect. And then over here, we can put um, maybe a row of this pineapple. some of this down that'll be good uneven but that's okay okay so that's good for adding this strawberry shortcake pocket I think I'll do the shiny side so no glue here God, I also have this apple paper. So this pocket is good. Cover up the glue. And I think up here, I'll put this other pineapple. And let's put one of the, actually this is pretty big, we'll put this over here. I'm going to use tacky glue because it's shiny, it was a calendar of course. kiwi right here up here we have some apples that'll fit there perfectly Just 
left over a little bit. And there we go. And over here, what can we put? Ooh, we could put this probably right here. Yeah, that covers up. Actually, I'm going to cut this. Um, no, no, I'm not. We'll just glue it down. Covers up some of those pineapples, but that's okay. And I can put a little bit of caramel apple right here. Doesn't have to be big at all. Perfect. It's a little short, but that's okay. We can put some washi tape down there to cover that up. And then right here, maybe some more apples. Rip that and put this right here. Put some watermelon right there. I could put some washi tape right there. Put a blueberry and strawberry, just a berry drink over here. Maybe a strip of pineapples can go right here. There we go. Perfect. Do I have more space stuff? I think so. Yes, the cat strawberry. Love it. Fits perfectly right there. This is a fun little collab. She just gives you a theme and you can make whatever you want. And of course I like making glue book pages, so I thought that was perfect. I have another cat strawberry, but I don't know. Yeah, I might as well just put it right there. Perfect. And the apple fits perfect right there. And we can have a row of these colorful pineapples. Right there. I need to refill this glue, it's getting hard to squeeze. Right here I'll find a, a stick
sticker to put there. So there we go, there's the fruit background. Or maybe, oh, there we go. That can fit right there. Perfect. Okay, now we can start with the foreground. Let's get some watermelon washi. Put that down here to cover up that white space. And pineapple. We'll just put this right here. Well, it kind of covers up those blueberries. There we go, right there. And then we'll do the apple one on the other page somewhere. Like maybe right here. Okay, got some washi tape down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right there. I'm gonna put these in the pocket. I've got a nice rainbow pineapple that I will put down here and a grapefruit that we can put right here and this has some fruit on it we'll put a pear on there there's no pears on here there's a pear and a peach. Don't have any peaches either. And we can put this lemon right there. And this watermelon. Put that up here. Okay, so there's some from that. A strawberry. And some love cherries. And then I have this really cool um, sticker sheet. We'll put a banana on there. There's no bananas on here anywhere. And this lime. And this slice of orange that right there and the strawberry and I think that'll be it for that page since I do have a lot of other stickers to go through there's a whole fruit page in here somewhere here it is oh some grapes don't have any grapes or there's not very many blueberries we'll put some blueberries on um, put the grapes right there and a couple more blueberries. And another banana. Actually, no. I'm gonna use this banana. Because it has a narwhal. It's a narwhal banana. Don't know where to put it though, it's kind of big. But I like it, so I'm going to use it, and I'll just put it right here. And this pineapple chick, I don't think there's room for it, unfortunately. Actually, yeah, there is. We can put it right here. And here's a cool black background peach. It's easier to find spots for the smaller stickers and this grapefruit or lemon or whatever it is. Put that right here. And here's an orange with arms and legs. So we gotta put that on there. 
one in a melon, watermelon. How about this bunch of bananas with faces? Or actually, maybe this apple. And put it right here. And then I'm going to use, I was going to use these big puppy stickers, but they were at the bottom and they're too big now, so I'm not going to use them. Should I use some of these puppy stickers? There is some nice big pineapples. Let's put a puppy pineapple on here. And we'll put it. Let's put it right here. And then I have these cute little tiny puppy stickers, and I'm going to use all of them, all of the fruits, not all of the stickers, but there's a little watermelon and a little pineapple and a little strawberry and another little lemon and a little lime and a raspberry, kiwi, put the kiwi right there, and a banana. Put the banana right there. And I have these, oh, this is like an angry sad watermelon, let's put this one on there. And a, another pear, some more grapes. I need to put the grapes right here. Um, oh, this banana has a bow tie. I think this will be the last one. It's getting pretty full. Um, we can put it right here. Okay. I think that's good. That was a fun page. I really liked putting down all these fruit stickers. And I'm surprised I actually found enough fruit paper to put stuff on the background. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to, but I did. So this was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, click on the hashtag as well as I'll have her link in the description box. And if you want to play along, just make something that is fruit themed, like maybe a glue book page. Um, you can check out her channel for some more ideas and other people that are playing in this collab. And I just want to thank her for hosting it because it's fun. I'm looking forward to seeing what the theme is next month. This is a once a month challenge and you can post as many times as you want. And there is actually a giveaway for playing. You could potentially win some of her dew drops, which are basically these little like, I'm not really sure how they're made, but like little acrylic, but they're colorful and they're, uh, they're see-through. They're really cool. And I would love to win because I could put them in my glue books and stuff that I make. So yeah, you also have a chance of winning some of her pretty cool dewdrops, or you can just purchase them separately from her. So that is my page and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.